sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Memorial Day weekend. I have five low carb, dirty keto cocktails to share with you if you're living that low carb life, but still want to live it up for Memorial Day weekend and the summertime. So if you want to see what I came up with, then just stick around for this video. All right, so for drink number one, we're making something special for Memorial Day, a red, white, and blue drink. So I'm just taking some red raspberries and some blueberries and placing them in my ice tray and getting them frozen for ice cubes. I'm just letting you guys know off the bat, if you are a proud member of the Keto Police, then this video might not be for you. We are using a lot of artificial sweeteners in these drinks and they are not the cleanest for keto, but neither is alcohol and this is for a Memorial Day kind of a treat and this is just for like special occasions if you want to indulge in alcohol on occasion. So I'm just filling my mason jar up with some of the ice cubes, just a few, and then topping off with regular ice. Then I'm taking the Smirnoff Red, White, and Berry. What I can find online is one gram of carbs in this, about one ounce of this, but do your own research. Then we're using the white Gatorade Zero. It's the Glacier Freeze or Cherry or something like that. It is cherry flavored um, Gatorade and we're just topping it off with that. And you can see already that it is a red, white, and blue drink. It is so pretty and you're just gonna give it a stir. You could totally use water if you're cool with that because um, the Smirnoff is like a cherry flavored um, Smirnoff too. But using Gatorade will prevent a hangover and people who eat low carbs are definitely more susceptible to hangovers. So I would definitely recommend going the Gatorade route so that you feel better the next morning. All right, you need to stop whatever you're doing and go make this drink. So we're starting with a big cup of ice and we're adding some coconut rum to that. And then I'm using the pineapple coconut sparkling ice and this has zero sugar but it also has the antioxidants and vitamins in it that is also going to help with the hangover the next day. And you're just going to fill this almost to the tippy top. And then you're going in with some heavy cream. And you're going to go in with just a dash. You can add more or less depending on how much you like. I don't add, like a lot though. And I like to just shake it because I don't want to give it like a full stir. I want like a macchiato kind of effect because I like the gradient look. This one buzz by far my favorite drink and even if you aren't low carb, if you like coconut, you need to try this drink. Alright, so for the margaritas, you're going to need some sugar-free lemon lime jello, a lime, some tequila, some salt is optional. You could also, if you like to rim your glass with sugar, you could use a keto approved sweetener of your choice and you're gonna need a blender and some ice too. So I'm just adding my Jello to my Nutribullet blender. And then I'm adding one Jello cup full of crushed ice and depending on your blender or how much tequila you add, you might have to adjust the amount of ice that you add. And then I'm adding one shot glass full of tequila.
So they definitely make special salt that you can buy to rim your glass with, but I just use regular old pink Himalayan salt and I just sprinkle it on a plate and then I take my lime wedge and rim it around my glass so that it gets wet and then I just dip my glass right into my salt. So as you can see, the consistency is super thick and fluffy, I guess because of the jello, and you have to use the cold refrigerated jello. You can't use the kind that is like shelf stable. And I'm just piling it all in my glass and then just sticking a lime wedge on the side and you're good to go. I like my margaritas super limey and salty, so I will take my lime and, and drizzle it on the top, and as the salt melts into my glass, it is perfect for me, but if you like it on the sweeter side, then you will like this one. Alright, for the strawberry daiquiris, you are also using Jello. You're gonna use sugar-free strawberry and some rum. So I'm just putting my Jello into my Nutribullet again, as well as two cups of the crushed ice, and then about a quarter of my little shooter bottle, and then just blending it all up. I found a sugar-free whipped cream at Walmart for only like a dollar and like everywhere else it's like five dollars so definitely go to Walmart for this and it's super good it does have traces of sugar in it so if you're worried about that definitely check the nutrition label Strawberry daiquiris just always remind me of the summertime and these are just perfect and pink and adorable and perfect for the summertime. Alright, so for orange creamsicles, you're going to need orange, sugar-free jello, and you're going to actually need whipped cream vodka. My store didn't have the little bottles of the whipped cream, so I went with vanilla. The whipped cream vodka actually has less carbs, has zero carbs, and the vanilla has one gram of carbs per one ounce serving, just so you know. But I definitely recommend the whipped cream vodka if you can find it. So I'm just adding my jello to my Nutribullet, as well as my two cups of ice and about a quarter of my little shooter of vodka. And then I'm going to blend this up, but as you can see when I flipped my Nutribullet over, my Jello was literally stuck so hardcore to the top of my Nutribullet. Like, I don't know what the heck. I was ba banging on it and everything, and it just would not come down. Like, I don't know what they put in Jello. I don't know. So I'm also topping this one with whipped cream and an orange slice on the side. You don't have to eat that because I know that has sugar in it. But this is so, so cute and it tastes just like an ice cream, orange cream sickle. And I just love these for the summer as well. And this is the last drink that I have to share with you guys and this was actually part of a collab with a bunch of other YouTubers. They're all sharing Memorial Day recipes with you, not all keto or low carb or anything, just a bunch of delicious recipes that I'll have linked down below. I decided to make low carb drinks because no matter where I go, I always see people asking, 
what low carb alcohol can I have? And let's be real, people still like to drink, especially on holiday weekends. And with options like this, they won't completely kill their goals. So hopefully this helps you out if you're trying to live that low carb life, but still want to live it up for Memorial Day and this summer. But please stay safe. Remember, you're not eating bread, so you're going to get drunk fast. So all right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.